Hello there to all you art addicts. This is Angie with Angie's Art Addicts, and yes, I'm an addict. I wanted to do an unboxing. I just got this great deal on these Winter Newton Pro Markers. So I wanted to do an unboxing since I just got them, and I'm kind of doing some testing as far as being able to record for the YouTube channel. So the last video I made was kind of a different direction. This way is a little bit different. So just hang in there with me, and hopefully um, I can fine-tune everything and I had covered up my address obviously it's not safe to have your address out on the internet with anybody um, okay and let's see here so I got these from Walmart as you can tell with the box and I have zero experience with alcohol markers I had bought a six-pack of Copic or Copic Chow skin tones and um, played with those a little bit and liked them and then of course wanted all of them but they're too expensive so I just happened to see this deal, um, and I was one of the last few people that got it before it went away. <laughs> so unfortunately, these are not available for $37 like I got them. They are between $150 and $200. So I was very blessed and grateful that I was able to get this. So here they are. These are the colors here that are in them. Um, as you can see, they are Winsor Newton Pro Marker, and they have a chisel tip and a fine tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this here. And please excuse the uh, sounds in the background. The wind is like 50 to 60 miles an hour right now outside of here. I have a metal roof and stuff, so it's kind of loud. Um, so here's the box. It's actually a really nice um, thing here. I'm not sure. Oh, here that's how they open. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Okay, let's do it this way. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, they all have the um, numbers on the top. I believe that, yeah, so like um, V for violet, I'm sure, M for magenta. And so this is what I got. Um, I'm going to let's look at one of those real quick. So they're kind of a fat marker. I have a few to compare the shape to. Um, so this is a Winsor Newton Pro Marker that I just got. Let me step away. Oh, it's this way, <laughs> sorry. So this is a crimson and this is the Winsor Newton Pro Marker. Just need to make sure you can still see up there. I'm trying to figure out this camera stuff. This is a Prismacolor Premier Marker. This is a Tri-Blend, which I plan on doing a video about, the Spectrum Newer Tri-Blend. And this is a Copic Sketch. Anyways, I know, I'm silly, but they are like so highly crazed about that it's almost like a god status or something <laughs> and this is the Copic Chow and that is the sh difference in the shapes um, so yeah they're not huge at all I would heard that the spectrum newer regular uh, markers are pretty big actually so you can see that now let's look at the each side of the thing here so we have a chisel tip and a fine tip nib and yes I know the brush tip is very important from what I've read and what I've seen on other YouTube channels but to get a $200 set of markers for $37 I just could not pass it up um, worst case scenario if I don't like them I can always sell them and at least get my money back easily so um, kind of a way I should like to think about things when I convince myself to buy things that I don't need so I'm gonna set those to the side and I'm going to try these puppies out here on this kitty cat marker pad so oh, this is what I had uh, blended around and played with with my Copic. sorry I know I'm silly so these these uh let's see what we're gonna try first let's try since I have some to compare it to well I'll wait for the uh, compare video let's do that let's just put a few on paper this is a turquoise and I'm gonna do the skin tone and the chisel tip so oh goodness it popped right out of my hand. Did you see that? All right, let's try this again. Okay, there we go. Like I said, I have no experience with markers, so. So, um, I probably didn't even do that right, but if you can see, not a whole lot of lines. So, um, I guess with the chisel tip, you're able to get several different types of lines. So you're actually getting quite a few different shapes of markers there and they are very very juicy you know very wet markers um 
That's the chisel, or not the chisel tip, I'm sorry. Yeah, they seem to do really good and not have a bunch of lines in them, especially compared to some of the cheaper ones. Um, let's see here. I really don't know anything about how to test these to make sure they're like great, I guess, um, because I'm not an artist and I have no experience with markers. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, popped right out of my hand again. I think these things have jumping beans in them or something. Let's just try a heart. And, oh, I have my dryer on in the background. I'm so sorry, I didn't even think about that. So yeah, that did not show a lot of lines, especially for someone who don't know what they're doing. Let's take a violet and see if the light will go over the dark, which I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but we'll see. Let's see here. Uh, it kind of gave us some highlights, yeah. I'm kind of surprised, I thought maybe it wouldn't. I don't know if you can see that, but that definitely could be useful in a project. And let's see here real quick. Let's grab a couple of these. And Winslow Newton does make a brush marker that is the same consistency and everything, except for it has a brush tip and a chisel tip instead. So that would be useful to people who must have a brush tip. Let's do a circle and so yeah, if you can see, these really do not leave a bunch of lines. That is beautiful. I'm so excited. And let's see here, let's do a light color. What is this? This is a blush. It even shows up over that. So that would be awesome, doing a face or something. Like, obviously that's not what you would do, but you can see, let me see if I can focus this real quick. You can see the light over the dark and on this one as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm very excited. So I'm going to end this video right here and start working on my comparison video. And I'm very grateful for you coming and watching this and visiting my channel. Once again, this is Angie with Angie's Art Addicts. And yes, I'm an addict.